What's up everyone? I'm Jesse Kazam. Welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, we're going to be talking through some tips for intermediate players in Escape from Tarkov. For people who have a few hundred hours in the game or really have a grasp of the game and they're looking to get another edge, get better at the game. Uh, that's what this video will be about. Uh, I stream Escape from Tarkov a few days a week on Twitch. All my links will be down below. We also have a Discord, which is a great place to uh, find some people to raid with or get some questions answered if you're new to the game. And I also have a weekly podcast with Veritas, another Escape from Tarkov content creator called The Podcast. And we have that weekly. It's a show where we talk about Tarkov and video games and content creation. All those links will be down below. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right in. So like we said, this is geared towards people who really feel like they understand the game, right? This isn't a beginner guide where it's like, here are your traders or here's this, but it's people who want to like up their gameplay, who want to figure out how to get better at the game. For me, after a few hundred hours of playing and, and you know, it probably took me a little bit longer than most because this was one of the first PC games that I played. I really felt like there was a moment where I understood enough. I really wanted to attain the next level of gameplay. Um, and I went through some of the tips that um, really helped me over my 13, 1400 hours of playing Escape from Tarkov. Uh, you, you might achieve this level at, you know, only a few hours in the game if you're really good or it might take you longer. That's beside the point. But if you feel like uh, you have a grasp on the game and you really want to take your gameplay to the next level, hopefully these tips will help. The first one is there is always another one. Um, this is now more than ever in 2020. We had an insane amount of new players come to Tarkov. I mean, the community doubled or tripled, I would guess, just in 2020 alone. So there's a lot of new people in the game. And with that has brought a lot more duos, trios, and squads. A lot more. Like, I would definitely say the balance has shifted that solo players that you come across are definitely in the minority. Most of the time when you engage with PvP, there's going to be more than one. And so that needs to inform how you play the game. You know, that might mean you don't loot quite as quickly because you're waiting to see or uh, something like that. Now you can't, it's easy to get into a loop where you never loot because you're always kind of waiting to see if there's another person and then you wait too long and somebody else has stumbled across. So it's definitely a balance, but it can inform your gameplay and how you loot. And then also when you engage, there's been a ton of times where I engaged on somebody, one person, he had absolutely no idea I was there. And then I either died or ended up killing his friend and I remember thinking, you know, if I had waited, I know that he doesn't know where I'm at. If I had waited one or two more seconds, I would have seen a different angle and I would have seen that's a duo or a trio. And then you can kind of either decide not to take that fight or take it a different way. So uh, it's definitely healthy to think that there's almost always another one. Um, the second tip is when you fight, always be thinking about other people moving in on your location. Uh, Escape from Tarkov fights, especially PvP fights, are intense. They are all-encompassing. They can suck your attention in, especially longer fights where you engage with somebody and there's flanking and counterflanking and rotations and reloading. And I mean, that's what Tarkov is all about. And it takes all of your attention. And a big thing for me was realizing that all the time that's happening, especially later in a wipe, there are people who their only goal in the game is PvP. So... And I've been this person too, where I hear shots and I go, oh, there's a fight in dorms on customs. I'm going to head that way. And so a lot of times you're in this whole experience, you're in this fight, you maybe win the fight and you start healing up, you start looting and somebody just busts in the door and kills you because they were moving in the whole way. So same thing with the other tip where you can't get in a loop where you never loot or you never heal because you're always wondering. But these are those things that as an intermediate player, you start to pay attention to the guys that I just killed, where were they coming from? So that means they probably spawned on this side of the map. So most likely the closest people that'll hear this fight are from here. So I want to be aware of that. You know, I'm being really still listening for audio cues. I'm trying to loot in a safe place, all that kind of stuff. Um, but always that, that was a huge thing for me. I ended up surviving a lot more raids and getting out with that hard earned loot a lot more when I was always thinking through the lens of like, I'm making a lot of noise here and there's most likely going to be people moving in on my location. The next tip is trust your gut. This was a huge thing for me that I ran into a lot at that mid-level gameplay, which is having a thought 
or maybe seeing somebody and then letting that kind of fade away and starting to doubt myself. I found that even if just two, three, four minutes went by, I started to doubt. I thought I saw two. Maybe I didn't. Maybe the second was a scav. Maybe the second one ran away. Maybe I didn't see two. Maybe it was just the same person. And then I let my guard down and then I die. Um, or I'm in a situation and I think I should flank right here. But then I don't because I'm like, well, what if this and what if that? And I end up sitting still and I end up dying sitting still. And that's the worst way to die. And a great way to tell if this is something that you need to work on is just how often while you play Tarkov do you die? And then immediately think, I knew I shouldn't have done that. I knew I shouldn't have done that. That is probably letting you know that you need to trust your gut more. And it seems scary. And that's the, the weird thing about it is it always feels like if I go with this gut reaction, I'm just going to die. And you might. But in my case, I was dying so often by hesitating that trusting my gut led me to die a lot of times, but it was less times than when I would just hesitate and do nothing. And I ended up with a net positive survival rate. I was surviving more. And then I would. there's always a learning experience. If I say, hey, I'm going to do this flank and I do it, or there's two and there wasn't two, by acting on that, it was still a better learning experience. And that leads us to our next tip, which is practice super fast reactions and um, super quickly going through kind of like a mental list in your head of things you should know in combat. So what I mean by that is like, so a great example is like grenades. Do I have grenades on me? What grenades do I have? Like, is it an M67 where I can toss it as bait and push somebody? Is it a VOG where it's going to blow up almost immediately when I throw it? Um, should I flank right now? Um, where am I getting shot from? The audio cues. There's a lot right, right when a fight starts right when a fight starts there's a whole lot of things that you could be thinking about and a lot of times on the back end if i'm watching a clip back or if at the end of a fight i think man i could have done this or i could have done that so practice those things and then practice acting on them once again it might cause you to die by you know i just throw in an aid and that that wasn't the best call there i'm gonna pull this flank or i think they're coming from this direction or something but there's the basically there's a whole lot of things to think about and if you omit some because this is the priority like all i'm thinking about is how do i get to cover how do i get to cover then maybe i missed a great opportunity for a flank i missed a great opportunity for a nade hindsight's always 2020 you're not this is this is a never-ending pursuit of like how to play tarkov the best you know what i mean you're never just going to arrive but practicing those really quick quick reactions and quickly being able to know your gear, know your loadout, know the map, know where cover is, know the audio, know where people are coming from, put that together as quick as possible, and you're going to be much, much more proficient. And then the last tip that we're going to talk about is taking control. So this is something that greatly increased my PVP survival rate, maybe not surviving the raids, but surviving PVP encounters. And that is learning how to take control. So this goes back. This is absolutely applicable if you're a squad, if you guys play as a squad, a trio, a duo, but especially as a solo player. Uh, like we talked about earlier, there's a lot of people playing in squads, however big or small they are. And especially as a solo player, learning how to take control of a situation. Every moment that you give an opposing squad or even a solo player, the ability to make a plan on how to kill you, you start to like lose control of that situation, especially when you're in close quarters combat, like in dorms or the shoreline resort where you can get backed into corners. Every second that they get to hatch a plan, you open the door, I'll throw a nade in, uh, you push that way, I'm going to flank him this way. You start to lose control of that fight. So as a solo player, especially right at the beginning of the fight, being able to assess the situation, decide if you want to flank or decide if you just want to be aggressive and take control of that fight. Um, and you can use what's uh, you can use the the downsides of their play style against them. If it's a four man, there's four of them. There's one of you. They're worried about team killing. You're not. So you can just dump a 16 round mag in their direction and just mow them all down uh, and surprise them. Uh, suppression is a great thing. Putting constant, if, if you've got bigger mags, putting constant pressure on people makes it harder for them to hatch a plan. It makes it harder for them to figure it out. If you know there's a bunch of people over there and you need to get to cover, just throw in shots. Even if you're not aiming, it just stresses people out and that might give you an edge. Or another great way is baiting out shots. Um, baiting out, maybe look for a reload. If you know there's people, this happens in the resort. If I'm in a room and there's people down the hall, even if I have absolutely no in intention of peeking out and actually trying to get shots on target, I can just really quickly peek out and try to bait some shots because that lets me know where they are. 
But a, a great counters like the meta right now is, you know, Vals with 30 round mags. Those guns shoot really fast. 900 rounds per minute, 30 round mags are the highest capacity mags you can get. If you can bait somebody to dump 10, 15 of those rounds, they are going to reload because they're terrified. These guns shoot so fast. They're going to be terrified of running out of ammo. They're going to hit that uh, reload. And you can use that audio cue to then push out their shots, let you know where they were, and you can push out and take control of that fight again. Same thing with healing animations. Of course, some squads are going to use that as bait. Hey, you hit your CMS and the world's going to wait for the guy to push you. But when you've got the right information, right at the beginning, taking the control of a fight back uh, can be incredibly, incredibly beneficial to increase your chances of PvP survival. Uh, so those are the tips. Those are my tips for intermediate players. I'm sure there's more, um, but I hope that these help uh, give you just some things to chew on. Uh, well, like we said, tar getting better at Tarkov is a never-ending thing. Even the best of the best of the best still die. There's always RNG involved. Sometimes you'll do everything right you it was a two man and then you did everything right and you're like ah, i found out it was a three man and then it turns out it was a four man there's just going to be those times but hopefully this is enough to chew on and just work through slowly to get you better at the game uh, if i missed anything if there's any tips you have or if there's any questions about this video drop those down below i'd love to uh, chat with you down in the comments and uh, drop a like on this video if you liked it think about subscribing for more content like this i'm always trying to create content that helps shorten the learning curve of tarkov and gets you and your raids having fun as soon as possible thank you so much again for stopping by for this one and we'll see y'all on the next one